Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back. Today we have some fun experiments for you. Today's topic is Bull's experiment. So let's have some fun together. In this lesson, you will be able to examine what causes an object to change its position by investigating Bull's. Let's recall how different things move. Everything that moves uses force, like humans, animals, and non-living things. What is a pull? A pull is a force. It can make a thing move. When we pull a thing, it moves towards us. Towards means it moves near to us. Let's have a look at these actions. The boy uses full force to move the wagon towards him. That is near to him. So he is using full force that makes the wagon come near to the boy. This guy is exercising and he is lifting weight. He is using pull force to lift the weight. This man is using pull force to move heavy materials. So you have seen kids we use pull force in different ways to get our work done. Let's experiment and try out these examples. Let's see, what do you learn from these experiments? Experiment number one. Grab a pair of sock. Try to put it on. Then think. What happened when you put it on? Which force did you use to put on the socks? What happened when you applied the force? Did the object change? The object here is sock. So, when you pull the sock, you were, were you able to wear it? How? By using the pull force. Share your experience with your parents. Experiment number two, tie a knot. For this, you need a string or shoelace. Remember, you have to move both the ends of the string to tie a knot. You can also get help of an adult. Did you notice something? Something changed in the object? Yes. The objects are knotted now. The object here is a string or a shoelace. So the position of the object has changed because of the force. Think, which force did you use? Did you push the strings to make a knot? Or did you use pull force to tie a knot? Experiment number three. Go to the door of your room. Use a force to open the door. Now think. Which force did you use to open the door? What happened when you opened the door? Which force you applied? Did you apply push force or pull force? Experiment number four. Pull a toy car. Move the car back and forth. Use a force to move the toy car. There are some special toys that have a battery inside, a motor. When you pull the car, it moves near to you, that is towards you. And when you leave it, the motor inside, 
gives it another force and takes it away. So what do you think is that force? What happens to the car? And which force did you use? The motor is using another force. But think which force you are using to play with the toy car. Is it push or pull? Have fun with these experiments and let your teacher know and share your experience with your friends or your siblings. Have fun playing with your toys, pushing and pulling. See you next week. Assalamu alaikum.